What is up, guys? It is Mr. Techie here, back with another vi gaming video, and we are going to be doing a PCBS custom water cooling build. Let's see how this guy turns out. So, just for the case, we're just going to do we're just going to do mid tower tower, and I just want to see if I can find any interesting ones. I like Fractal Design Defined 7 Compact Dark TG Black for our motherboard. And of course we are taking out the standard fan and we are just going to put in the highest CFM fan that I can find. Now the highest CFM fan that I have come in my conclusion is is honestly the most expensive one if I'm the honestly the Cryborg that's the that's the case man I'm having so I'm just gonna put in I'm gonna put in the Cryborg So, we're just going to install the Cryborg face cans first. I know, not normal, but... You've also got this fan here. Alright. Now, we're just going to start with LG... We're just going to do LJ20. I'm gonna go. We're just gonna go. LGA. Yep, we're just gonna go Prime Deluxe. I mean, the specs on this PC don't matter. We just have to make sure that it can preform. Alright, we are gonna, we are gonna put in, is there any, does MSI make RAM? No, does ASUS make RAM? Um, let's see if I can find any, um, team group stuff. Um, is there DD, team group DDR? Five. Nope. We're just going to put in some nice DDR5. DDR5. Okay. So, there is no new DDR5 stuff updated. We're just going to put, honestly, this, this guy. We've got so many memory slots, though. So it's just kind of like, why not? Honestly, it's it's just nice. I mean, we've got... There's no RGB on these, which is fine. We're really, again, we're just trying to focus on the water cooling and we are just going to put in another 8 gigabytes. This is honestly like this isn't like, you know, has to be perfect spec gaming PC. If you want to see that, check out my most expensive PC video. Now, we're just going to put in a Ryzen Intel Core We're going to put in the Extreme Edition. This one. This is a LGA 2066. And it is coming in at $1,000. Right now we've got a $2,000 PC. We, we are not going to CPU cooling. We are going straight to graphics cards, ladies and gentlemen. 
and we are putting in custom water cooled GPUs. The minimum is most expensive. So the Evgra, let's see if this actually supports SLI. Do they support SLI? Yes, they do! Water cooled GPUs support SLI. I had no idea that is a thing. I didn't know that. I'm going to be straight with y'all. I did not know that. Okay. Um, we don't want any SSDs, so let's go back up. Kingston. Just gonna go two terabytes, cause why not? I've got water cooled GPU here. We are putting in Alright. Oh my gosh. Bro, did I have to remove the graphics card? <sighs> okay, well, we've got... We're gonna go SLI again. You know, same... Same old, same old. We're gonna put back in our PC parts. We're, just, we're putting back the PCI covers. Now, let me, let me know down below in the comments section... What is your favorite type of graphics card? Like, what brand? I've got, I've got GeForce RTX, Colorful GeForce RTX, Asus ROG, Motherboards. Like, just give me your favorite favorite PC part, okay? Now we're going to put Evga Super... We're going to put big wattage, you know... High wattage PSU in there. And we are, of course, we are missing the. Alright. Alpha Cool Nexus? Big Radiator by Be Quiet, Alpha Cool. Basically has a monopoly on this type of stuff. Reservoirs. Looks like we are going to have to get rid of our A data fan. I'm sorry. So we're going to put... Price. So, this one. The RGB! No! Bro, my beautiful case fans. My wonderful ace cryboards. No! I'm sad. Okay, um. But no time to be sad right now. Okay. We need to cable a lot of things. We need radiator. And now we need to put in a very expensive CPU block because why not we got range check CPU block good install nickel rigid pipes Fine, honestly. Where's the missing pipes? I don't I don't know where CPU block? Where do you want this guy to go? <laughs> I 
We're just getting rid of all cooling measurements here to make this work. So, this PC may not be the best, but that is, of course, okay. Fine. Empty loop. We're going to put in the coolant. Black opaque coolant. You're just going to install that. All that good stuff. And let's see if we have any space for case fans. Yeah, never mind. Not worth it. We're gonna put back a PSU shroud back on. You know, I'm just, I'm just like that. Now, we're gonna put in back on the top panel dust filter. Put on the dust fi filter first before I should have known. Then the top panel. Going to put in our side panels, just like that. Shout out if you are still watching, and shout out to Coach Joe if you actually are watching this account. That is amazing. Bow. All right, now we are just going to install the OS, and here we go. We got a pretty sweet water cooled, custom water cooled PC. We've got two Evga GeForce RTX 3090s, SLI supported, We've got random check block, we've got the most expensive water cooling, we have an alpha cool radiator, it's associated with Be Quiet, have, we have the Intel Core i9 10980XE Extreme Edition, we have the Asus Prime ZX299 Deluxe, and for our body, we have the Fractal Design Define 7 Compact Dart TG Black. And we have we have eight sticks of Team Group Dark Pro DDR4, eight gigabytes, eight gigabytes of RAM at 3200 megahertz. And we've also got Patriot Viper as our as our M2 graphite heat shield and we've got an alpha cool nexus that's our thing and then we've got EWRTKRS whatever for our um, for our custom water cooling reservoir and that right there is our custom water cooled PC thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Mr. Techie bye